Okay, so I had a friend ask me in the comments of one of my videos why I'm not making videos anymore and that made me think why not make a video, okay? So I'm making a video right now <laughs> um, and today I want to talk about hard work and uh, how I view hard work, okay? So this is my perception, this is my idea, There's, I won't tell you this is the right way to view it but this is my way, okay? And I'm I'm pretty fucking tired of hearing people saying that they work harder, <laughs> that they are working harder than anybody else. If you say that you are working harder than anybody else, you're fucking pathetic and your perception of hard work is probably... F you don't know what you're talking about, okay? Because working hard, you have no idea how fucking hard you can work, okay? So I'm basically not gonna tell you why you're not working hard, I'm gonna tell you why I'm not working hard, okay? So here are a couple of things that I could have done better this off season. <clears throat> okay, so let's start start off with the training, and this is a classic, classic thing for me. Okay, so I like to train pretty hard, push to failure and all that, and do the progressive overload. You know, add weights every time I get a chance. You know, small increases, and uh, I push too hard. Uh, so over uh, a couple of months. I increased my weight a lot, I got a lot stronger, I ate like a fucking horse and I got a lot stronger but my knees didn't uh, didn't get stronger in the same uh, tempo as my legs got stronger. So basically now I have a lot of joint pain in my knees. So that is the first thing that I could have done better, okay? So actually this one is is about controlling my emotions because I want to push harder than my body allowed and basically you may think okay then you work really fucking hard but but it backfired no I was stupid I was emotional that's the reason why it backfired because I, if I had been thinking I would have stopped in time okay and I would have fixed that problem okay so that that is the first one with my training secondly di diet okay so um there have been days where I, I have not hit my macros good and to give you guys a perception when I'm not hitting my macros now this this ha doesn't happen often at all this happened very rarely maybe 10 times during the past six months okay so but I may have been 200 calories off 300 calories off at some times so uh, yeah, that is pretty fucking straightforward. Okay, I did not hit my macros a couple of times this off season, uh, which means that I could have been working harder. Okay, this one is uh, uh, this next one is uh, is a problem for me personally because I love beer. So I tried to count the the amount of times that I have uh, been drinking this off season, and I think I'm at about four or five times. Uh, this past six months so basically I could have worked harder by not getting drunk but I compromised and of course I you know I I timed it well with my rest days I ate the best way possible to minimize I didn't just randomly go out and get drunk okay the times I got drunk I had planned you know weeks ahead and I have made up how, how I was going to make it fit as good as possible to do the least amount of damage. Okay, uh, so now I have the diet. Oh, this is a big one. And this is the hardest one for me. Sleep. I aim to get eight hours of sleep. Nine hours, I'm sorry. I aim to get nine hours. Usually I get between eight and nine hours. But this is the thing that... I've actually failed with sleep this time because there have been nights, many nights, that I only got seven seven hours of sleep, and that is not the way to do it if I want to grow muscle. I fucked up because I only got seven hours of sleep. Yeah, <laughs> let, let that sink in. Okay, so there you have a couple of reasons why I have not worked hard this off season. This is my perspective. Now, if, if you're a beginner, you can't listen to this shit, okay? You need to count the things that you're doing right. But for me personally, I'm eating six times a day. I'm eating from good whole, whole food sources and I'm counting my macros. 
And I, I get all the fucking basics down. I know how to train hard. I know how to train the right muscle. I, ha I know how to lift the weights with my muscles and not my joints. I know all that shit. And that's where I can focus on these things that I fucked up. If you're a beginner and you, you let's say you've only been training for a year. I'm sorry, this isn't going to help you. And maybe I'm helping you to not make a fool out of yourself. Because you think you're dedicated because you haven't missed a workout in a year. <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm sorry, I'm a mean motherfucker, okay? Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe and all of that shit. Peace.